Hey guys, KJ4YZI. So I've had quite a bit of interest in questions about my antenna that I made a video on about two years ago. This is the High Gain AV680, nine band vertical for HF, does 80, uh, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and six. So it does six meter VHF as well. Um, and this antenna has been right here since I put it together. So in the original video, I did mention that I had it ground mounted because I did not have, um, I, I didn't want to put it up on a mast. This house, this is quite tall. This is 30, 34 feet. And I didn't want to have it up. It recommended at least eight feet off the ground, but I put a pole in, it was about uh, three feet and I concreted it in and the ground radials just barely touched the ground. But that was a, an issue or something that I said in a video about two years ago. I said, I'll get it up, you know, we'll see how it works. Well, in the last few videos, you might have seen that I've, especially the one from this weekend and some others. Any video that you see that I've been playing HF with my 7300 or before that, chances are it is on this antenna because the only other antenna, only other antenna I have set up right now is this, uh, SPT 500, the 10 meter uh, vertical, but I have it yeah, I have it set for 10 meters and it'll also do quarter wave on 20, um, but that's not in part of this video. So what have I thought about this antenna? Well, it's worked phenomenally. Only a couple issues that I've had, and I'll tell you what those are. Let's see if we can zoom in, because when I did this video last, I didn't have a good of a camera. So, <clears throat> Up top, you have these spokes. These are for uh, the capacity hats for the different bands, all right? The top one being the largest is for 80 slash 75 meters. Then you have uh, three sets of spokes up there for 40, 30, and 20. There you go, right there. Okay, so if I zoom in, 40, 30, and 20. Well, right there at the 20 meter spoke, you can notice that the two sides there are a lot shorter than the other two. Um, if I look at it like, like this, the, the side on the left, this is the bottom one here. Um, it took a lot of trimming, more than the manual suggested to get that resonant. And also up there, there's a solder joint right about there. And that solder joint a couple of times came loose, like a cold joint. So I torched it, got it working. And it's, that was for 20 and it's been good ever since. Uh, this thing has blown in the wind for several storm seasons. So right now the winds uh, on my weather station, my Davis weather station, it's been clocking about uh, averaging 20 to 25 to 30 mile an hour gusts. And you can see this thing right here, it is cranking. That thing is a, that thing's moving. And um, I also have on here, I have a rope. Now someone asked about the rope. They said, what's the purpose of the rope? Well, let me show you. I do have the rope tied up top when I had it down last. And it just kind of hangs down here. But what I do with this rope is when it gets real windy, like it did in that last video that I showed you of the thing blown around, I tie it over to that fence right there. I tie it over to here. And that pretty much keeps that thing, because normally the wind is coming from north, north, or west, or the, the north. So I could tie it over on that fence and it's all right. Um, and that keeps that thing from snapping, but it has bent over quite a bit and uh, hasn't, hasn't failed yet. Does the rope when it's wet cause any uh, fluctuations of tuning with that thing hanging down like that? No, I haven't noticed it. Um, so, so far this thing for a quick update video, I've never done an update video. Um, on 17, it is for some reason I have, for some reason I get noise on this antenna on 17 that I don't get on a couple other antennas that I have used. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, and the only other issue that may or may not be a concern is that up top, let's see if I can zoom in now, for 80 slash 75, you see that coil right there? That is a, it's like a coil there and there's a, uh, a tap that you tap it for. Let me see if I can get around this side and show you. So you have to tap it for the part of the frequency you want. So you can't cover the entire 80 meter or 75 meter plan. You only get like 200 kilohertz 
from, you know, of where it's tuned. Uh, so I haven't, I don't even know where that thing's at right now. That might be at the lower end of 80 for digital, but I can't work 75. I could tune it uh, if I wanted to with a tuner. It doesn't mean the antenna's resonant, but there's the little jumper right there. So basically you, you, you tap that jumper on parts of the coil there where you want it to be resonant, and then you tune the spokes up top for that. Um, but like I said, I don't get on 80, 75, I don't get on 75 at all. I don't get on 80 much, um, but if I did, it's kind of a pain because where it's resonant is only at one, one portion. So if somebody says, hey, get on 38, 43, I can't. Even if I do use an auto tuner and the thing tunes up, this thing is not resonant at all there. So it's very narrow for 80 slash 75. You have to pick where you want to talk and that's it. Other than that, I did open the box one time. Um, th where the uh, circuit is, the uh, uh, transformer, and nothing got in there. Now, I have had reports that people say that wasps got in here and built, built a nest and, uh, you know, shorted out some things. I haven't had that issue. Um, it's been fine, so I haven't had that issue there. These here, I've hit with the weed eaters, I don't know how many times. I mean, you can see, I think they're all still there. Yeah, they are. Uh, look, look at the, this one here is bent, right? See, it's bent there. And I mean, a couple of them I've whacked with a weed eater or a mower. But other than that, they've been fine. So I haven't really had an issue with that. But that's, um, that's your update. Now, I will tell you to move this thing is going to be a pain because over the years of the salt air from Vero Beach down here in Florida, those spokes up there, they get corroded. Between the RF and the, uh, the, RF and the uh, salt, they corrode, so it's not easy taking them off when it's been up a few years. They will break um, if you're not careful. They're not like these uh, stainless ones down here. So that's pretty much it. The AV680 9-band vertical update video, because a lot of people asked, what vertical are you using? They may maybe have missed my review video. If you want to check out the video of me putting this together, look on my channel and you'll see it. And then I've had other people ask, well, how do you like that thing? How's it been working the last couple of years? You know? And there it is, it's still working. That is my main antenna. And I am feeding it with RG214 mil spec C, silver plated um, coax. And uh, maybe overkill, but I got a lot of it. So uh, thanks for watching, 7-3.